Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. And here we have a canvas ready to be painted on. I might as well go for it. I'm just putting some blue on it. Just a little bit of blue and white on the canvas. And I'm seeing, kind of seeing what's happening. There's trees appearing. I want to do like a forest type scene. It's interesting how that happens though, isn't it? <laughs> You're just painting away and then uh, you suddenly see there's things appearing in the, in the woods. So I've just got some uh, blue, black and white on my palette. I will use any of the colours. Just a little bit of blue, a little bit of white and black which I'm going to use for my trees I think. I think I might a little bit more blue. Maybe this tree there, quite a lot tree. Just gotta think how bright I want the background. I might go a little bit brighter. Gotta be careful <laughs> when you're, you're making that decision because it depends on what you want to be the brightest part of your painting, really. So I'm gonna go with that and then I'll have the bottom parts up there. Using my blue, I'm gonna go over some of these. Because I actually don't want it all gaps on some of this to be trees. It's a bit more character than I've done there. So I'm just really making this up as I go along. Just using an idea that I've seen walking around. It was almost looked like it was snowing today. It wasn't snow, but it looked like it. <laughs> it was just very icy. Very icy. No, you can go on forever with trees, I find. There's so many branches. You see branch after branch when you're out looking at trees. <laughs> Amazes me, really. You can put them everywhere and you're probably right. There's that many. Using this little liner type brush. It's for uh, watercolours, but it works just as well. For oil paints. I'm 
the branches in there. And I've, I've left uh, these dark points because I think, you know, they're accidental, but they might work as other trees. I'm just thinking about which ones I want at the foreground. Let's have to think about this. I might bring this into, into a more light. trees quite a lot, these blue ones. And then what I'm thinking is we'll have some of the thicker trees and then we'll have snow going on them, but I need a little bit more on these, a bit more depth to them. using that paint quite thickly in areas that I want it to be. And then you can come back afterwards. We've got branches everywhere and that's what I like because that's what you get. <laughs> that's what I see anyway. One thing that I probably studied the most in my painting life is the trees because I live not far from a wood and I've sat in there a few times just painting. <laughs> <laughs> Scaring the dog walkers off, which is quite funny. You don't expect to see someone in there painting away. <laughs> Oh, there's a tree, I'll put a bit of light on it so we can see it. What's up there? So then what I can see now is I need a bit of light Oops. in this area. So that tree pops out. We've got this one here. We've got this one here, which I'm gonna curve this one like that. Because this reminds me of a tree grows across water actually. It reminds me of that one. I looked at that one on the way to the shop when I was getting some uh, some grub. I don't like that it is. And I've got this tree off the edge here. There. 
some branches in. Well, it looks like it would have a nice branch there, did not it? See, what amazes me is when you're looking in the, uh, you sat there painting away, thinking, right, I'm going to paint as many branches in the angles that I see. And then you look up and you go, oh, but every single way that I can think of. <laughs> And knowing that when you're doing your trees, knowing that every angle you can think of as a branch, you can put your branches in all kinds of angles and if someone saw it, they'd probably think it was real. <laughs> so now I'm having the, uh, the thought of where my light is. And what I was going to do is have my snow it sort of comes across here comes around this tree It's got to go around this tree as well. Comes all the way along here to here. It might go in front of that tree there. go darker there there's a reason for that really <laughs> and then I imagine there's a tree here so I can go a bit darker there and now what we can do is uh, Imagine that the light is hitting this, this tree on this one side. hit this bit of tree there maybe there's a bit of light hit this bit of tree there You can decide where you want the light to hit or the snow to have fallen. 
a branch maybe on that branch there on this one you can have some fun with that idea changing it well, I like the idea of having a little bit more light. I might use my knife just to pull out a bit more light. That keep it quite dark and interesting, though. <laughs> you like it? It's quite a simple painting. You could do this one if this was your first one, and you want to do like a bit of a different type of scene. Give it a bit of a wintry look. You could even have it snowing if you wanted to. Totally up to you. Oh, yeah, I think I'm uh, pretty much finished with this one. Nice little uh, woodland scene that you could do. And hopefully I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.